Oops. <laughs> okay. I think I got it. I think I got it, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going low tech tonight.
had the perfect salad That's where I got screwed up But it was poorly tossed I almost had a sunny day But it rained and I got wet I almost had a psychic girlfriend But she left before we met had a psychic girlfriend but she left before we met alright let me see if I can get some uh, chat stuff going on here here we go there's Joseph Aronofsky Albert Madison and uh, nice to see. Oh, that's on the uh, social thing. Uh, Albert, try and go over to the chat, all right? Uh, no messages so far. All right. <laughs> okay. Let me see this one. And Ken is, uh, Ken Dolansky is here. Oops, let me go back. I don't need that. Oops. There we go. All right, let me, uh, let me see what's going on here. Oh, and there's Barbara in Nova Scotia. Okay, so this is not working the way I want to. I see, so the chat is is not working on the app, but luckily I have... Oh, so you know what? Joseph, I can, I can read you on this. And Barbara and Susan, Tucson, Jim, Shabbat Shalom, everybody. Okay, so I can see you there. I can see you there. I can see Sue Marie over there. I got everybody covered. And like I said, tonight we're going, we're going low tech. This is, this is Sim Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, welcome. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to make it through with the Florida internet. <laughs> okay. How's it all sound? Barbara, sound check? All right. Let's see. I'm going to find another song to do. No, the piano thing. Uh, I guess I go to the index. I need something for the piano. Hmm. How about on Bleecker Street? I wonder how that would be. Oh, let me try this one on piano. I want to stay on piano for a while. Maybe I'll play the uh, harmonica, too. Tell me what you think. Hey James, how are you? Sound is very good, even though technology is difficult for you. It's not difficult for me, it's just that it doesn't work. Barbara. Okay, get the harmonica thing going. Wish me luck. Oh 
darling, I know Not bad, huh? Hey, Terry. Anibal, how are you? Rona and Ashira. Let me straighten out my hat. Here we go. Shabbat Shalom. Uh, it's plenty loud. It seems to be uh, too far. It seems like there's too much sound reverberating before it goes in the microphone. Hmm. Excellent range, Rabbi. Thank you. Okay, so I'm getting a mixture of clapping. Yael, how are you? <laughs> uh, minimal reverb. I'm yes, indeed. Uh, I don't know, guys. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm hoping that it's that the sound is, you know. Let me get rid of this. Joseph Aronofsky, Albert Madison. Is that you tonight? Yeah. Albert Madison, Joseph Aronofsky. Great. Shabbat Shalom. Uh, Victoria, how are you? Shabbat Shalom. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, tonight, low tech. This is Sim Shalom. The Jewish Online Universalist Synagogue. Let me do another song for you. Oh, let me do this one. Oh. No, it'd be too hard to play on the uh, harmonica. <laughs> How'd that sound? I, uh, did I sound as good as Dylan? Almost? All right. This is one of my... Let me just stay on the piano, because it really... I love, I love this... Oh, you're waiting for waiting for guests to start Shabbat. That's beautiful.
Yes, Sue, I am aware that uh, on Facebook it's reversed because I'm looking at the camera. Uh, I've got the camera facing me so I can see me. So that's what happens when you do that. If you if you put an image here. Now I wonder if that if it's that way on you on UStream. Is this is this image reversed on UStream? I have to assume it is. Probably is. Okay. May, you can imagine it's Hebrew. Those of you that don't read Hebrew, and, and it'll be uh, it'll all be good. Hey Terry, how you doing? Shabbat shalom to Laat. Vodka does that also. <laughs> oh no, you're talking you're talking to Barbara. All right. So anyway. Moving ahead, let's do another song. Hmm. How about? Hmm. How about a, how about kind of like an edgy spiritual, uh, ed edgy religious thing? Mm -hmm. I got time for one more, I think, right? Albert? Let's see, I just need to move up? No. Wait a minute. Oh, that's old. Hold on. That's 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 all old stuff. Joseph Aronofsky. 
Oh, that's like really old. Okay, you know, I don't even need this then because I'm not getting my messages here. There we go. All right. So it turns out the uh, Ustream app, uh, you can't look at the chat when you stream. There you go. There you go. Ladies and gentlemen, in reverse, once again, get ready. Low tech tonight. If you want to follow along with the service, you can go to the simshalom.com website and uh, click on the stream. Some of you are probably watching from there. And click on Rabbi Blaine's Siddur. Okay, and we're going to get there in a moment. Let me just do uh, one more. Let me do something uh, on the guitar. I'm, I, I actually reset up my little blue shed, and uh, I kind of like it. I kind of like it better. So I, th I think, for me, the piano sounds much better, and I, and I think the sound um, is... is I, I, I'm, I'm thinking it's pretty good. Um, let's do uh, something else that's new, maybe? Mm. Let me do... Um, <laughs> well, how about I do, um, oh, how does, how does this one go? Mm, yeah, probably not. <laughs> Might be a little, a little too edgy for this crowd. Let's try, uh, let's try, oh, what's that other one that I just, that just added? Oh, this one. This is the song that uh, I, I was reading uh, the Times, and there was uh, an article on um, the reporter was searching for um, uh, the middle of nowhere, and they found a, they, they they identified spots uh, in in the America that are furthest away from civil from civilization. It takes like hours to get to town to get groceries. Or so uh, I said, I'm going to write that song, and I did. So here it is. Beast. 
sky where the wheat is shimmering gold. Even though I'm somewhere now, I'm in the middle of nowhere, and nowhere is Reading up, Tolat is uh, is is not well. I'm sorry, Tolat. Oh, I hope I hope you have a successful surgery. Indeed. Thank you, Tucson Jim. Yael. All right. Uh, hey, Marshall. How are you? How are you feeling? Brian Duval. Great to see you all here. All right. It's time to uh, do the service. All right? Yeah. Fully attired. That's the Torah portion tonight about how the high priest had to dress. You know, so there you go. Hey, Rabbi Betzel, how are you? What doesn't sound too bad? <laughs> All right. Uh, oops. Kippa. Ba-dum bum. Notice I wear the kippa with the logo JSLI. Because that is our rabbinical school. Anyway, Shabbat Shalom. So, uh, again, if you want to follow along with the service, I am going low tech this evening in an effort to have a solid stream. So if you want to follow along, please click on the Rabbi Blaine service on uh, on the Sim Shalom streaming page. Let's do a little bim bomb. Two of uh, the Rabbi Blaine service on the Sim Shalom page. Hine Matov, page three. Sim Shalom, our, uh, our online universalist synagogue. Let's go to page four. If you want to follow along, or those of you on Facebook, you can follow along. The Siddur is on our simshalom.com webpage, the Rabbi Blaine service.
is Shabbat, Shabbat uh, well, Shabbat uh, day, but it's the evening, so how beautiful it is anyway, because we're all joining together from around the planet. We've got Tolat in, um, in, uh, in uh, Japan, and we've got David in Sydney, Australia, Australia and uh, um, you name it. Is someone in Italy? Who's in Italy? Giovanni? Is that you? <laughs> I, I have to assume that you might be the one who's from Italy. You never know, but uh, let's go to, um, let's get a little bit of um, Nishmat Kol Chai. Join with me on page 9 of my service. I'll try to keep these readings down because I don't know uh, who, can, who can follow along. I, I'm not able to put the service on the screen until I get back to New York. I just, just not even going to try anymore. So, um, so repeat after me. Nishma Kol Chai Adonai Eloheinu Nishma Kol Chai. Let's light the Shabbat candles, all right? No, let's do this one. Shalom Aleichem. Let's sing about the angels. Okay, uh, survey. Guitar or piano? It's too late. <laughs> I'm going to do guitar. But if, what do you like better, the guitar or piano? Shalom Aleichem. Tonight, anyway. Malachi Asharit. Malachi Shalom, Malachi, 
Shalom. Hey, Alan. Malachi Shalom. Malachi. gentlemen uh, as if uh, just just so you know we are a completely divided society in every single way half of you like the piano and half of you like the guitar so uh, there's just no relief ladies and gentlemen no relief at all let's uh let's do um shiru ladunai shir Kadash, page 22 if you're looking at the sidur on the simshalom.com page um shiru Shiru la donai, shiradash, clap, clap, clap. Shiru la donai, shiru la donai, shiru la donai, call a parent. Sing a new song, do Adonai. Sing a new song, do Adonai. Sing a new song, sing a new song. Shir Hadash, Shir Ula Dunai, Shir Hadash, Shir Ula Dunai, Shir Ula Dunai, Shir Ula Dunai, Kola Aretz. Turn the page. Yisrochu Hashamayim, Yisrochu Hashamayim, Yisrochu Hashamayim. and the earth be glad. Adonai is coming to rule the universe in the spirit of niceness. That's my translation, by the way. Yes, back to the piano. Someone suggested I mix it up, and I'm going to do that. Let's do, um, uh, let's do this one. Uh, Adonai la mabu. Repeat after me. It's a call and response. You know what? Let me get a little sippy. Hmm. Repeat after me. Ad Adona. This is page 27. Mabu Yasha. Aishev Adonai. Melech Leolam. Adonai. Leamo Yiting. Leamo Yiting. Adonai Yivare.
drone way too long. I, I don't know what Adonai is waiting for, but he will um, bless the people with peace. Someday, Sabbath prayer from Fiddler. Yeah, Desiree, Noah, I'm glad you're singing. It's not, I can hear you. How are you? Oh, I love that. Look at that. Four daughters and three sons. Well, if you guys want to follow the service along, you know, you can uh, go to simshalom.com and my service is right there. You can put it on your screen. All right, sing with me. Asti Bouvier, how are you? And Rabbi Deborah is here. She does the best. Rabbi Deborah is just amazing. She does the best JU TV segments and, uh, and services also. Um, all right, so moving ahead, ladies and gentlemen, we're having so much fun. I'm going to stay on the piano for a little bit, all right? something like island-like. Let's do this one for the next verse, all right? Let's do, um, uh, Oh, we fish alone. 
be so bad retired or why would it? All right. Um, Baruch Hu. That would be page 31. Baruch Hu et Adonai HaMevorach Baruch Adonai HaMevorach is due now and forever. I never do this, I very rarely, so sing with me if you can, page 34. Torah mitzvot chukim ha-mishpati hotanu limadza akin Adonai Eloheinu Shach venu vekun menu, nasiach bechukecha, venismach bedivrei Torah techa, uvamitz vatecha leolam ba'el. Ki heim chaynu veolach yamenu, vayem negeyom mamalayla, ya batecha, al tasim imenu laolamim. Baruch atah Adonai, Ohev Amor Yisrael. We're on page uh, 35. Shema Yisrael.
You know, I, I think I did hear everybody singing that. <laughs> well done. Let's, um, you can do this from memory. I can even do it from memory. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your might. <laughs> Take to heart these instructions with which I charge you this day. Impress them upon your children. Recite them when you stay at home and when you are away, when you lay down and when you rise up. Bind them as a sign on your hand and let them serve as a symbol on your forehead. Inscribe them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. Thus you shall remember to observe all my commandments and to be holy to your God. I am Adonai, your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt to be your God. I am Adonai, your God. Adonai, Elohim, Emet, I am the Lord, your God, who is truth. Hey, Freddy, how are you? Let's do a little Micha Mocha. We get the concept, right? Hey, Sandra. Shabbat Shalom. Melbourne, Florida. Well, I'm in Florida, too. That's why I'm wearing pink, and I'm in my little blue shed. <laughs> Florida's not bad. It's a little... It's, a, it's not bad. In the winter, man, this weather is killer. It's like a miracle here. Let's do... Let's continue with the Chatzik Kaddish. Yes. <laughs> It's page 41. Again, if you would like to join along, you can simply, if you'd like to read along, you can go to simshalom. Oh, it's, it's opposite. You can't really tell. Okay. Well, cross your eyes. Uh, no, that wouldn't work either. Simshalom.com, and then uh, go to the uh, streaming page, and the services are there. Click on Rabbi Blaine. Let's join together. Click on Rabbi Blaine. Let's join together for the Amidah. Baruch
se shalom im romal se shalom aleinu ve'al kol yisrael nations of the world, to Jerusalem, uh, to the United States of America, and let's join together and say, Amen. Um, so, uh, we're not uh, officially uh, going to read from the Torah, but I have a Devar Torah, so let us, uh, well, it's kind of fun to have you all up here on the Bema, so come on up. Come on up. Thank you very much. And, um, Yeah. Let's do, let's do, let's, let's do it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, everybody come on up. Very good. Rabbi Devorah. Uh, the, the, the uh, Pocono Lynn and New Jersey Jeff. Now that's, that's what we call a mixed couple. A Pocono Lynn and a Jersey Jeff. Right, you two? Diane, how are you? Diane Haskins. <laughs> okay. Um. By he been so a harom, by Omer Moshe, Kumadunai, we are food to Oyvecha, we are new sumis anecha, me panecha. Kimi Tion, Tate say Torah, Kimi Tion, Tate say Torah, Udefar Adonai, me a Russia. Baruch Shenatan Torah Torah Baruch Shenatan Torah Torah Le'amo Yisrael Bihikdu Shato All right, uh, Diane, why don't you hold the Torah tonight? You never hold the Torah. Go ahead. You do it. Pass it along to Connie. Bubble Joe. The Desiree. Your son. Okay. Let your son hold the Torah. Okay, yeah. I forgot his name. I'm sorry. What's his name again? It's not in front of me. Um, and um, we're going to process all around. Led by Desiree's son. Here we go. Um, oh, what are we going to do the Shema first? Hold on. Shema, Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad, Echad Eloheinu, Gadol Adonai say the blessings, because we're not going to actually read from it. But I have a few thoughts on this week's Torah portion, so I hope you will indulge me. Um, probably need a little, a little wine for this. Hmm. So this uh, Torah, this week's Torah portion is called Titzaveh. And um, it begins with the Hebrew words, Viata Titzaveh, which translate, and you shall further instruct. And in this Torah portion, God tells Moses to instruct the Israelites to bring um, olive oil for lighting the lamp in the, um, in the Mishkan, you know, in the, in the tabernacle, sanctuary, 
Uh, and the lamps are supposed to be the responsibility of Aaron and his sons. And the lamps are supposed to burn from evening until morning. And this, my friends, is the source of the, uh, um, you know, uh, of the, um, um, uh, the eternal lamp that is in every, every synagogue, the eternal light in the top of every bima. All right. And um, the Parsha goes on, the Ner Tamid, the Ner Tamid. This uh, Parsha then goes on to describe the special garments that the Kohen Gadol must wear. Kohen Gadol, a high priest, when he, he must wear these special garments when he is going to approach the altar to officiate in the sanctuary. And from this, ladies and gentlemen, is where it comes uh, uh, rabbis need to dress up and look like menches when they're in front of people. I know. Uh, well, I'm in Florida. Okay. Uh, because clothing does indeed make the man or woman, for sure. Uh, so in this portion, Aaron and his sons are ordained as kohanim, as priests. They go through a seven-day ceremony, all these ritual and oils and you name it. And the parasha ends with instructions for building an altar at which incense is to be burned every morning when the lamps are tended. And, and so, thus, my friend, we have the source for aromatherapy, which is very popular and my wife is a huge proponent of. <laughs> I'm sure some of you do uh, do it too. It's kind of kind of cool. Um, now, the, the priesthood was, and it continues to be, if you're an observant Jew, hereditary. If you weren't born into it, you, 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 you couldn't serve then, you can't serve now. Uh, and some of our ancient rabbis pointed out that there were indeed good aspects to, the, uh, uh, to this situation. And such as the idea that there's no competition, you know, you're a Kohen, and if son was a Kohen, your grandson was a Kohen, you're a Kohen, you're a Levite, Levi, you knew it, if you're an Israelite, you're a Pisher, you didn't, you didn't have to do anything. Um, and... Um, so it was, it, was, it was nice to kind of be uniform in that sense, so to speak. And um, the special clothing and detailed rituals of anointing and serving in the temple were passed down from generation to generation. So why did the Torah describe this garb so meticulously? And it, and it, and it did. Uh, well, uh, serving God in ordinary clothing is inappropriate to the role of the high priest. Makes sense. And uh, these garments robed the priests and, by extension, the people of Israel in holiness. This wasn't just a job. This was a divine appointment. <laughs> this, this, was, mm, this was up there. All right. Um, so today, I dare say that many people who attend houses of worship regularly wear their nice clothing to attend. Uh, but sometimes they don't. And that's, that's a, an interesting thing because there are members of the community who will say, oh, why am I dressed like, dress like that? What's that all about? And then, of course, the, uh, usually the, uh, the uh, rabbis and the uh, ministers are like, we're just happy to have them. You know? so there's always this, this battle between you know, the, the elders of the community. Like, oh, what is it dressed like? What is it? Sneakers? Short pants? Blah, blah. Rabbi? Thank goodness you're here. <laughs> um, um, and yet, you know, and here's the thing. In Israel, they, they always, they, they, not always, but that's, that's a tradition. They, they dress very casually when they go to a synagogue in Israel. So, my friends, uh, what are you, Sim Shalomers, wearing out there in cyberspace? Hmm? Hmm? This Shabbat is also known as Shabbat Zachur, the Sabbath of Remembrance. And... Um, because it's the Sabbath before Purim. Purim is coming up next week. And, um, and it's, it's on, that, uh, on Purim that we are commanded to remember and blot out the name of Haman, who had uh, the potential to blot out the Jews of Persia in the book of Esther. The underlying theme of Purim was the miracle of the salvation of the Jewish community through the efforts of Queen Esther, who was an undercover Jew, so to speak, married to the king of Persia and the niece of Mordechai, the Jew. You know, ladies and gentlemen, we do a lot of blotting out these days. We move from crisis to crisis in our world. The shooting last week will soon be out of the news and will be forgotten. Many of us are afraid that little will change. But, my friends, 
That's where the miracle comes in. It does. You see, as I've said many times, they happen all the time. You just have to be open to seeing them and to have faith. I see them. They're rare, but they occur. You see, it's not through the normal course of events that things evolve and change. We adults are too wounded, too angry, too flawed, way too stubborn to bring needed change alone. Certainly we are today. Now I'm convinced it is through miracles that the quality of our lives inches forward, although the tempo is slow and we can easily fall into despair. But take heart, ladies and gentlemen, because the miracle unfolded from within the tragedy last week. The miracle rests with the survivors of the shooting in Parkland because those kids will usher in the changes that we so desperately need. Blotting out the memory of the horrors that continue to transpire within our society is not an option. Sadly, we must now apply the mantra of the Jewish Holocaust to the innocent shootings that occur all too frequently. And once again, we must vow to never forget. I wish all of you a Shabbat Shalom.
send a, a refuah shalema out to all those people we've mentioned. May they be blessed with a complete and full healing. We say amen. Hey, Phyllis, right on time. No guilt, no guilt. I'm glad you're here, honestly. Continue with the Ain Kelo Heino, Ain Kadoneno, in Ladino. Ain Kelo Heino, page 55, Kadoneno. Ain Kemal Keno, Ain Kamoshi, Nun Como Nuestro Dio, Nun Como Nuestro Señor, Nun Como Nuestro E, Nun Como Nuestro Salvador. Ain Kelo Heino, Kadoneno. Atahu Adonim, Atahu Malginu, Atahu Moshienu, Tu amo nuestro tío, Tu amo nuestro señor, Tu amo nuestro rey, Tu amo nuestro sabedor. Aleinu le shabea, la don ha gol, la tege gula, le otsebere. Facebook, you moved from from the other site. Anyway, it's not time now for the Mourners Kaddish, and uh, we all will join together for the Mourners Kaddish in respect for uh, the tragedy from last week. Please join with me. Again, if you uh, would like to read along with the Kaddish, you can turn to page fifty nine of the Rabbi Blaine Sidur on simshalom dot com. Mors Kadash, Yit Gadal, the Yit Gadash, Shemei Rabba. Be'alma divra kirute, be'amlich malchute, be'chaye chon uviyome chon uviyome the chol be'it Yisrael, ba'agala uviyzman kari v'imru. Amen. Yehei Shemei Rabba mavorach li'alam ulolme omaya, yit barach v'yishtabach v'yit pa'ar v'yit roman v'yit nase. Vit Hadar, Vit Alev, Vit Alal, Shemei de Kudsha, Berichu, La Ela, Min Kol Birchata, Vishirata, Tushbachata, Benechamata, Da Miran Bielma, Imru, Amen, Yehe Shlama, Raba, Min Shemaya, Vichayim, Alenu, Vial Kol Yisrael, Imru, Amen, Ose Shalom, Birmamav, Huya Se Shalom, 
Aleinu v'yal kol Yisrael v'yal kol Yoshvei Tevel v'imru. Amen. I would like to acknowledge the Shloshim for Oscar Newman. For Oscar Newman. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we made it through, right? You want to know what I'm doing? You want to know how, how ridiculous this is? I'm using my cellular signal on a hotspot. And um, I'm using the apps. I'm not trying to get high techy. I'm literally using the audio in my little thingy, in my little iPods. And guess what? I think it's like the best uh, stream we've ever had. <laughs> so, in my effort to give you a lot of technology, you know, and, and the Sidor on, this, on the screen for the past, oh, seven or eight years, I'm thinking um, this was always the way to go, but we'll see. Uh, I'm interested in, in your thoughts, if any of you have any thoughts about, you know, do you miss having the service on the screen? When I get back to New York, I, 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 can, I can do that again. All right, so next week, ladies and gentlemen, is uh, Purim. It's actually uh, Wednesday night, I think, and Thursday. So, but we're doing it on Friday. So save your costumes. Come to, uh, uh, to services in costume. I have a feeling I will have a costume. I think Pastor Brashear will be with us, and he will probably have a costume. If not, whatever. He can come as a minister. That would be kind of, that would be interesting. And, um... Uh, what else? Um, that's it. So, you know, if you have a chance, go to a, a synagogue uh, for Purim. It's fun. And if you can't make it, come to me. Well, even if you come anyway. Next Friday night, we'll start again at 6.30, and Pastor Bashir will be with us. He's visiting us in Florida. Uh, anything else? Uh, thank you. Thank you, Barbara. Thank you, everybody. Yes, to the hot spot. Can you believe it? I'm so pissed off <laughs> that with all my internet and all my experience and all my audio and all my great equipment, I'm, this is it. All right. Anyway, God bless you all. Shabbat shalom. And uh, see you next week.